All right, so this is going to be uh, which Deku is the strongest. So with that being said, let's just roll the intro. Treat a bad bitch like she average. I'm a savage, no ho, what you want to do? I'm about cash with the raw fast. I'm going to get that little nigga by any means. All right, so this video is basically going to go over the main kind of uh, Deku What If series. Like, I'm going to explain which one, in my opinion, is the strongest. Right, so right now I'm only going to do my, you know, what ifs that I've done. And then maybe I'll get the Sins to do their own versions for the kind of different uh, what ifs that they've done. So starting off our list. Um, so when I, when I rank them, I'm going to rank them from weakest to strongest. And basically, if a character is above another one. It doesn't necessarily they would win in a fight it's just that they're overall stronger but the um, idea of one being higher also is determined by if they're able to beat up the other Deku's in a fight so uh, so it's mostly gonna depend on if they could beat the other Deku's but also gonna be some part is gonna be a general kind of strength so yeah so starting off our list, we're actually going to go with with the weakest, and that's actually going to be D4C Dagu, right? You might be wondering, like, why is he last? He has a really strong ability, right? Which is the Dimension Hop, and if anyone goes with him, then basically they die because they're going to meet their um, alternate universe selves, and they're going to collide and, you know, become, you know, uh, uh, was it Merger Sponges, I believe it was called? Yeah, but basically, the reason why I put him at this part, I think number 9 on the list, was because a lot of the other Dekus have an advantage over him. And that is that they have some sort of long-range attack, right? So, in this one, D4C Deku, like, basically can be defeated by all of them. All the other Dekus can beat him. This includes uh, Bond, Black, uh, Black Bolt, Divine Dividing, uh, Imagine Breaker, Accelerator, The True Longinus, All for One, and Prototype. Right, these all different Dekus beat them, right? Because they, first of all, he is one of the Dekus that are the least experienced with All for One, or One for All, I mean, and he relies a lot on his quirk which is very powerful but it's very situational because he has to be between two objects and a lot of them like imagine breaker deku can nullify it uh the other dekus can stay at a distance bond deku can snatch his heart and this would go through any obstruction in the way so d4c wouldn't be able to block it so yeah and there's also things like um you know, Black Bolt, where he's able to just do that kind of sound wave to kind of just kill him that way. No, no way to really block that. Uh, for the other ones, it's a little bit harder since he would be able to kind of switch him, switch himself out with another version. But again, eventually he'll get to the point where he can't get in between two objects and he'll die. So that's really why I put him at this part of the list. Uh, he does, ha he can if he were to pull him in to the alternate dimension uh you know and that and they met their own like uh alternate dimension version of themselves then yeah he'd be able to defeat any deku on this lick on this list and all of them could die even bond deku uh, even though he's immortal he'd be turned into merger sponges and he would cease to exist so yeah that's why i put him the lowest on the list and yeah Next up is, this one's kind of hard to explain, but it's going to be a Madden Breaker Deku, right? And the way, he's actually very powerful, and a lot of people don't get him, give him credit for this, or at least the idea, right? Because Imagine Breaker Deku, he has a Madden Breaker, right? And this can nullify powers as well as the supernatural. And this means he could nullify things like, uh, you know, things like uh, God level items right uh we could see this like that's what they that's how they explain it it reflects everything including things like good luck and the god god and things like that right so technically 
he if if he were to get into a fight with let's say divine dividing deku uh first of all divine dividing wouldn't work on him because a bad breaker would nullify it right so any projectiles would also get nullified just how he's able to nullify you know electricity coming from a power coming straight at him he could nullify projectiles that are created through powers and this includes magic right so it there's a possibility that um that if he were to touch a sacred gear it would just break right this is similar how he's able to destroy like magical uh weapons i think he destroyed a scalibur i don't remember if he did or not i'm pretty sure he did uh, it showed multiple times that he's destroyed you know magic or yeah magical weapons so yeah he's been able to nullify things on like god level things and also angel levels so theoretically he could he would be Accel uh, accelerator which is one of the more powerful dekus just how toma uh, defeats accelerator in canon he might be able to defeat uh, divine divining deku if he were to touch his balance breaker which is the kind of scale mail it would break uh he might be able to destroy uh the true longinus the truth idea would not work on him because of the uh you know imagine breaker but things like um you know d4c it wouldn't work on him because imagine breaker would nullify him getting transported bond deku it's kind of hard to say if if it would work because uh let's say he like killed him using his like hand would it like would he start regenerating after he stopped touching him or would it just not heal it's really hard to say you guys can tell me down below who would win that fight and with uh black bolt deku uh even though he could nullify some of the projectiles there's things that he wouldn't be able to block since as since uh things like physical string it's not really going to be able to do anything he wouldn't be really be able to do anything against that so things like all for one uh deku you know how he's so much faster and same thing with prototype deku they're a lot faster and a lot stronger even though um yeah the uh imagine breaker deku is a martial artist and does have the scarf that aizawa uses he just can't keep up with the other dekus he's not as strong physically and he's not as fast physically but he does beat a lot of these characters and he has the possibility to uh he would he would destroy accelerator deku because he was able to nullify things and he might be able to destroy true longinus and uh divine dividing but the other ones are kind of harder to beat so that's why he's kind of in this kind of mid-tier not really above anyone kind of so yeah this is number eight all right for number seven this might shock you it might not but it's actually gonna be all for one deku and you might think like wow that's pretty low on the list especially since it's all for one you know the the villain of my hero right but there's a lot of things that go into this right he he's just not as strong physically uh than most of the others right he uh, he does have super strength super speed and regeneration you know slow down time and all these other kind of powers but the other ones just are stronger they're even though he's like a jack of all trades they're just far above like their strength and speed right even though that can teleport right uh let's say okay so he let's let's go over the ones that he couldn't beat right so he wouldn't be able to beat bond deku why because he doesn't really have a power that makes someone not no longer exist which is kind of one of the only ways to kind of defeat bond deku he doesn't have any petrification powers or anything like that so there's no really way to do that plus bond deku can you snatch on a person and uh depending you know how, how close they are uh it could go through obstructions and things like that and he could steal his heart that's one way you could beat him right 
but then again you know a bond deku should be stronger than someone like all oh, for one deku physically at least because bond deku is around prime level all might which muscular quirk is not around that level so yeah and his kind of regeneration would not work after the heart's gone right because he'd be dead plus there's things like uh you know physical hunt being able to steal things like that uh he can't really protect himself against someone like um accelerator because accelerator can just reflect anything back at him and basically destroy him like that uh black bolt the quasi sonic energy is just too much you can't really defend against that and it's a lot more powerful than most of all for one deku's attacks uh the black light deku he he has a lot more he has better regeneration he has better uh defense he has more strength the only thing he lacks and i guess it would be speed because deku can teleport but other than that a bullet drop from you know off uh black light deku would basically end his life so that's really why he's actually lower on the list compared to the other ones because he doesn't have as many powers as you know regular all for one he only has like what like eight something like that so it's not looking too well for him so yeah that's the really reason why i gave him the number seven spot so for the number six spot uh we're actually going to be giving that to bond deku so the reason why bond deku is kind of higher is because he he's very strong right and he has immortality which means he can't really die unless you do something where he doesn't exist or he becomes like immobile forever like petrification so there aren't really too many things you could do or too many people that could beat him on this list and when i mean beat or at least there's not there aren't like a lot of people on this list that could kill him but there aren't a lot of things he could do to them either right so bondeku in a fight he can lose to a few of them he could lose to everyone i can't i didn't mention before but there are a, a few um particular people that can actually uh you know kill him or even stop him from existing and there's like what three on the list that could do it and that is uh black like deku he can consume him right and he wouldn't be you know existing anymore right that's one possibility if you want to disagree with me you can i guess there's divine dividing deku he can use a half he could use a compression divider which could divide him until he no longer exists and then there's the true longinus deku which can use the truth idea to conform to perform a miracle to you know either take away bond's immortality or just to straight up you know put him into like a uh just have him not exist anymore i guess so that's you know very powerful and he beats the other ones on the list because he can't really die and he's just he's able to kill him and with the interaction between black bolt and him is kind of strange because black bolt can constantly kill him and then it becomes like it comes this like weird you know idea where he, they can't really kill each other really because bond deku isn't powerful enough and then uh you know a black bolt doesn't really have a power that can like stop him from existing i guess but i put black bolt higher because of his abilities and how strong he is he just can't kill bond deku really but he is stronger than everyone previously on the list so yeah it's kind of like an unstoppable force meets an immovable object so you guys can disagree on my placement for that but that's how i placed it so yeah for our number five spot 
and kind of like shifting our like power scale even higher because everyone after this it becomes basically the strongest character in my hero if they were you know an actual character in my hero so to start off this this part for number five i'm actually gonna say black bolt deku and you might be saying well how can this be right because black bolt is like planetary level well in this one in my what if he isn't as strong as the original black bolt he has his powers but he's not as strong he's like city level right but there are characters in this that could either reflect it survive it divide it and or like you know make it disappear and there are a few in this right and i'm gonna tell you which ones beat them right with things like um black light deku he can survive a nuclear bomb right we've seen this with prototype uh many times or at least at one time where he actually it was nearly point blank right he was in the epicenter of a nuclear bomb even though it was underwater slightly it still would have been within the blast radius especially with a modern bomb and not one from like the world war ii which was a lot smaller like a lot lot smaller uh black bolt or black light deku has things like the bullet drop and the full body kind of muscle mass not only that but he could consume uh he has a lot of biomass within him through stuff like the like basically collecting trash if you don't remember that was a thing that he did in his series where he collected like garbage and he used that for biomass so he's a lot to regenerate from not only that but his regeneration is very high and his defense is very high as well so eventually he would be able to kill um bon deku or not bon deku um black bolt deku he's just a lot strong he's very strong and he's a lot faster i don't think he i believe they're like around the same level of strength if um bond deck not bond black light deku uses muscle mass because not only does he have muscle mass he has the base power from the virus and he also has all for one or one for all so with all those in tandems he should be around the same strength physically so yeah that's the reason why he loses to him divine dividing can divide his attacks and boost himself true longinus his base power is a lot higher than that of the boosted gear and divine dividing not only that but he also has things like the seven, seven treasures things like um uh the the i believe it's the horse treasure he can use that to teleport and teleport him uh somewhere where it's less compatible like something like he could teleport him into space and he won't be able to breathe but he could use that barrier but again he have no oxygen uh you know there's the general shot plus there's a truth idea which can perform a miracle which has the power of the god of the bible so that's why he would survive accelerator can reflect his attack at double um attack so he would basically win that fight so yeah that's why i put him at number five all right so i'm not gonna go through the entire list right now this is actually gonna be the end of part one so in the final stretch of this list it's actually gonna be in a different video which will might be uh it'll probably be posted tomorrow and then uh, the reason why is because there's so many feats uh, that are, you know, that I could use for the last four. And I really want to emphasize how much stronger they are than compared to the others. So, yeah, I'm just going to have that as the kind of next video. Or not next, but like the video tomorrow, I guess. And then after that, um, maybe I'll do uh, another episode of My Thoughts on which i did make a poll on that so if you go and check that out you could go and vote so yeah uh i hope you guys like this video hope you enjoyed it 
remember to like uh subscribe and comment down uh who do you think will be number one and things like that so with that being said that's gonna be the end of the video so yeah